Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be revisiting the problem that we solved in the last YouTube video entitled Python versus C++ versus BQN versus WeWa, in which we solved the problem that is on the screen here. A quick recap, you're given a list of integers, nums, and you want to repeatedly take the smallest and largest element out of that list at a time, so two elements at a time, and then add them together, divide it by two, AKA take the average, and then do that repeatedly, and at the end of calculating all those averages, you want to take the minimum. So there's a couple things I did suboptimally, which were pointed out in the comments. And this video is addressing that. Plus, we're going to add a couple of cap solutions to the ones that we're going to cover in BQN and WeWa because I just interviewed Elias Mortensen on the cap programming language, another variant of APL, a modern variant of APL. And it shows some interesting differences between BQN and WeWa. So we're gonna go through a couple corrections to the BQN WeWa and then go to CAP. So the two comments that kind of inspired this are the two top comments on this video. The first one's from JoaoZin003, which mentions that in the WeWa solution, I can just use the same fork take drop trick that I used in BQN, which I, for some reason, missed. And the second comment, or at least it's a part of the comment, notes that there's a different way to solve the BQN using structural under and the two um, jot reshape, which we're gonna go through in a sec. So first things first, let's hop over to our BQN pad. And you can see here, we've actually got the second solution already up, but we are going to delete a couple lines here. So this is all on the screen. And then we're gonna just build this up incrementally. So remember that our first solution, we basically sort our, uh, our list of numbers. And actually let's line this up because this is gonna irritate me. We, we sort our numbers, then we basically take, we get the, the list and we, uh, with the length of the list, we half it, and then we take and drop based on half the length of the list. We reverse one of uh, those halves. In this case, it's gonna be the second half. And then we are going to take the minimum and divide by two, AKA half. So in all our, our alternative solution, what we're gonna do is this two jot reshape trick. And what's, what's that's gonna do, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it basically fills in the missing element in our shape vector. So we want two rows, and then however many elements will give us a matrix with two rows. And because we know we have an even number of, row, uh, even number of elements, we know this is gonna work. And then we get a two by four matrix in this case, but two by N in other cases. And this is a good start to solving this problem. But the thing is now is we need to reverse one of the rows and only one of them. And the way we can do this is with structural under. So here is reverse, here is structural under. And if we pair that with first cell, that's gonna take the first row out of our matrix. Then it's going to reverse it and then restructure or put together back the, the matrix as it was. So we the effect of this basically is that we end up reversing only the first row. So structural under, a super useful thing. And now all we need to do is basically what we did before. Uh, so we need to add the elements together so we can do uh, plus insert with the break in order to get this to parse correctly. Uh, then we can do one of two things. Uh, the shortest solution would be to do a two division. So we could do half um, and then we can do a minimum. Uh, but in this case, because we actually are only using half twice or once, we can just spell that out and it's not too much longer. And it's a little bit longer tacit wise, I guess, but it is still nice to look at an alternative way to solve this problem. So that is the BQN second solution. Let's hop over to WeWa now and fix our first solution. And then we will code a second solution as well. So here is where we have a mess of take and drop. So let's just go back to this point and do the trick that we had before. So if we just do fork, take, drop, I think this gets us what we want and we can actually get rid of one of the duplicates. So I have no idea why I missed this. Uh, it's so much nicer than what I had before. And I apologize to the WeWa viewers that were all screaming this in their head when they saw me do this. So once we have this, we once again can just reverse one of the rows. Then we just need to add them together. Uh, then we can do half. Uh, and it's actually better to, I guess, do a min re reduce first. Uh, and this is what our first solution should have been. So now let's try to solve this the second way using the two reshape. So I believe the way you do this 
in Wiwa is with the infinity. And we need to obviously do the reshape prefix. And this is pretty nice. And then once we have this, I believe it's under first reverse. And now we can do a plus. Then we can do a min. And then we can just do a div2 once again because we only are doing this once. So I'm not sure actually which one I like better, but awesome that we can do this in Wiwa as well. So last but not least, let's go over to cap. All right, here we are in the cap GUI editor. We are zoomed in because using the magnifier because there's a bug in the cap GUI that does not able, enable you to successfully change the font size. And this is a bit nicer than using the online web editor for a YouTube video at least. Anyways, we've got our list here. First thing we need to do, and hopefully we don't stumble through this too poorly, seeing as I don't code in cap that often, we need to assign to h our half, and we can do that using the to div this. And I'm not actually sure if we need the tack, but we'll, we'll use the tack. And now we can start to build up our min average. So first thing we want to do is we want to sort, which in cap we have a sort primitive, which is fantastic. And then we want to get the length, and then we want to half that length. And I think we can use that because we're going to need that in a second. And now we want to build up our take drop fork. And the way we're going to need to do that is using these two glyphs because they don't have three trains in cap. They have forks via explicit operators, which is an interesting choice. So we need to then go take drop and if we just use comma, and this actually will break because once again, we need to use another the two explicit fork glyphs, this will just recreate our original list because we have not reversed one of the halves yet. So if we reverse this half and note that there is no B1 operator, AKA an operator that applies a binary operation first followed by a unary operation in the form of an operator. It's only in the form of the two train in cap. So if we do this, we now get our reversed second half. And after that, we just want to do the min reduction. Uh, that's not true. We want to replace first this catenate with a plus. And then we want to do our min reduction. And then we won't just want to call half again. So that is our first solution. And note that it's a little bit clunkier than the BQN solution because we've got all these explicit glyphs here for the fork. However, when we go to the, and I guess we should be comparing this to dialog APL, um, which doesn't have the sort primitive uh, at all. So that would, that would be less great. But if we go to solve it the second way, uh, I believe you can do a, two negative one reshape. And this gives us the same thing. And there is structural under. I actually have never typed structural under in cap and it is capital G. So if we then go reverse structural under and we want, ooh, I know cause Elias was the one that pointed out that you could solve this and we chatted about it via email. He did a one drop see if that works. That did work indeed. I am curious why first does not, oh, I see. So it's just not a supported function. So you do have to do the one drop. And then once you do this, you can do the uh, row wise addition followed by the minimum once again, followed by a two division and there we go. So six different solutions across BQN, Wiwa, and CAP. Let's compare them all. And here are all the solutions copied into BQM pad 
which is a little bit unfair to both Cap and Weewa because some of these characters clearly aren't supported. But what are the major differences here? So obviously in Cap, we have the absence of the three train. Forks are still supported, but they require this explicit operator, which definitely if you compare this to this, I prefer the BQN one. However, I think this only really shines in these small leak code examples. When you get to real programming in these array languages, it's less noticeable. Note also too that uh, cap does not have the B1 combinator in the form of an operator. And also too, we have structural under here, structural under here, and structural under here. And we aren't comparing these versus dialog APL, but dialog APL at the moment does not have these. And dialog APL does not have a sort function either. Neither does Weewa. I really do like array languages that come with a built-in sort. Although you can still spell it in three characters in Weewa, which is not that bad. And probably the better solution, in my opinion, is the second one. Note that we're using H in all of the first solutions for BQN cap and Weewa. And if we were to include these, definitely the first solutions would be longer. It should be noted as well, too, that in the cap solution, because there is no three train, we don't need to rely on the breaks as we do in the BQN solutions in order to force the trains into a two train instead of a three train. Because there's no three trains and you, uh, when you're in cap, you just get this nice code flow, which uh, is really nice. It's actually not just due to the absence of the three train. It's also due to left bound functions. And yeah, we'll leave the video there. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Thank you to the individuals that commented on the first video. If you've got thoughts, questions, leave them down in the description and have a great day.